building a two inch cast iron self priming pump. A couple of things to take in consideration when you're going to rebuild this pump. Determining how long your seal has been leaking, you may also need to replace the bearing or the entire pedestal. The first thing we'll do is remove the, the out of loop housing. And you'll need a half inch wrench and remove these six screws. Once you get these six screws and these six lock washers removed, depending how long your pump has been assembled, you may need to take a small hammer and just tap the housing to get it loose. Once you get your pump loose, pull it completely off and it will expose your impeller. And it will also expose your inner wear plate. Once you remove your outer for loop and you inspect your wear plate, if your wear plate is wore due to your impeller rubbing on it, you'll need to replace it. And replacing it, you'll need a 3 16 Allen key. You have two countersunk stainless steel screws that you're going to need to remove. Once you remove these two screws, you should be able to pull your wear plate completely out. If you have any rust or corrosion, you'll want to take time and just clean it out as best as possible. Once you get that done and set to the side, you'll want to dis disassemble your impeller housing and your pedestal. You'll need to remove the, the nut on the face of your impeller. And then what you'll want to do is hold your shaft and unscrew your impeller off your shaft. By doing this, you're going to expose your, your two seals. Then you'll need to remove your screws from your pedestal housing. Once you've done that, all you have left is your lock collar. Your lock collar binds your shaft to your impeller shaft. And you'll need a half inch socket and ratchet to do that. As you're removing the lock collar, always remember the two and a half inch bolts go opposite direction. And you also have a slotted key. Once you remove that, you just separate your two housings. That'll expose your pedestal and your inner housing. And then you can remove your pump adapter shaft. Now we want to put your seal on your shaft adapter. And the way you do want to do that is you don't want to touch the ceramic as little as possible. You don't want to touch it at all, but if you have to, you can wipe it clean. And the way you want to do that is you take your shaft adapter and push it right here and just grab it from the side. Sometimes you can get it to go right on. Sometimes it's very hard. What I like to do is take a 15-16 socket. It fits right over the top and just give it a little bit of a push. Sometimes you have to work it just a little bit because it's not the easiest thing. It's a nice tight fit. Once you've gotten your seal back on, your uh, shaft adapter, you want to make sure you'll have a little bit of play in it. It should move nice and smooth, nice and easy. Once you've gotten that done, what you want to do is you want to take your spring, drop it right into your cavity, and you want to screw your impeller on. Once you get your impeller screwed on, you'll want to take your pedestal. Now, if your, your bearing in your, in your pedestal is bad due to your seal's been leaking and fertilizer's got to run in there to cause your bearings to seize up, you can take the retaining clip out, knock your bearing and your shaft out, and replace it, or you can replace the whole pedestal depending on what type of shape it's in. Once you get to this point, you'll want to slide your shaft adapter onto your pedestal shaft, and you'll want to line up this keyway with a large slot in your shaft adapter. Once you get that put together, you'll want to put your bolts back in your pump housing to your pedestal. Once 
you get your screws back in. You'll get them nice and tight. All four of them, and you'll want to tighten them in a, in a cross section, top to bottom, left to right. Once you get that done, you'll want to turn your pedestal up, and you want to take your impeller nut and get it back on, on nice and tight. Once it's nice and tight, you'll want to make sure you line your two slots up and you'll want to put your key back on. Always remember once you install your key, you'll want to make sure your bolts go in opposite directions. Very important to remember. Once you've reassembled your pedestal, your adapter plate, and your, and your impeller, it should turn nice and smooth with no rubbing at all. Now, as I said earlier, you've inspected your wear plate. If you need to replace your, your wear plate, what you'll, what you'll need to do is get your new wear plate and your new screws, drop it back down inside, get your screws started, Take your same Allen wrench and tighten them back up. Once you get them in there, get them nice and tight, and your screws should be countersunk just a little bit below the wear plate. Once you get to this point, you also want to check your, your paper gasket when you separated your pump and your housing because most a lot of times you'll tear it. And if you've torn it, you'll want to be take a a putty knife and scrape the old gasket off and replace it with a new one. Once you get to that point, you want to take a piece of strapping material. You want to insert it into the top of your pump. Just insert it about down to the bottom of your wear plate. And what that's going to do is that's going to set your, your impeller away from your wear plate so when you put it together and get it bolted up tight, we'll wind up pulling this out. Once you get your strapping material here, which is about a, a, a .025, you can use a set of filler gauges um, to measure your strapping, or you can get a piece from anywhere. What you want to do then is take your whole pump housing and set it back down up onto your volute, and then you'll put your six nuts and screws back on. Once you put your housing on and you get your bolts on, you'll want to tighten it, the two on the side first, and then cross-tighten the rest of them until they're all nice and tight. Once you get that done, you'll stand your pump up and you'll pull your strap out. And your shaft should turn nice and smooth. Once you get your pump assembled, if your shaft don't turn nice and smooth, that's because your impeller and your wear plate are still touching. One simple way to fix that is, is take your collar key bolts loose a little bit. You can insert your screwdriver right here and just Move it just a little bit and then finger tighten your screws and it'll hold it in place. Once you get them finger tightened, you'll tighten them back up with your half inch socket and then check your shaft and it'll turn nice and smooth.